Hello everybody, welcome to game number three in the Blood Bowl Super League up against PC with his dwarves. Um, I'm going to duck out of the commentary now so that PC can do all the commentary because I've got to focus on the Blood Bowl. So there you go, take it away, Chuse. Off you go. Yep, see you later. In the chat there, we've got Bingo, got two squares crossed off there. Fuck you out. And also Shushes, a fellow caster. It's actually two on the bingo. But here we are, Dwarf versus Dwarf, PC versus Jimmy. PC obviously a Dwarf main, Jimmy not a main of anything. Here we go, choosing, does he kick or does he receive? It's a tough one. He has chosen to receive. Well, we see chat game here. Jimmy going to drop the easy after succeeding the five plus, I think. Got two. PC did reveal, and of course, in a fumble podcast, but he is uh, prone to raging out on account of being told easy in chat. So I hope to see a bit of chat game employed by Jim here. They do have different kit colors. G6, so that's fucking good. Marginally different kit colors, right? But yeah, I did post the link to Bingo if you guys want to get involved. I've already got two quest stuff. Fuck you out and Shush is a fellow caster. But of course, this is going to be difficult because he's there's a lot of them he's not going to be doing here because he's not going to say not what I would have. He might say not what I would have done. But yeah, so how's everybody in chat doing today? That's good to hear, guys. Glad to hear you're doing well. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad myself. You know, bloody lovely weather out here. It is fucking fantastic. All things considered. Yeah, not too bad, G6, yeah. That's good. That's a really good shout there from Otto Oil. Dwarf coaches could also choose just one head type. It is Dwarf on Dwarf. There's not going to be much to talk about, so I'm going to be hopefully riffing off you guys, you know, chatting with chat a bit. Both teams lose a turn here. Really good news for the audience. That kick is not good for Jim. Um, obviously, Dwarven ball handling. Relies on edge free. Edge free sure hands, no less, but still edge free. No skill ups for the teams. But it is the best of all possible moves, isn't it? So one turn. No, one turn less of Dwarf on Dwarf Blood Bowl. The stadium, is it the triple deck Camry Stadium? Or... This could well be Jimmy's idea of micro wrestling. Here we go. First mighty bang, apart from the ones on the yellow S. Nope, there was no mighty bang the last. Mighty bang not popping off here. Oh, it's a GFI to get to the ball. Lot of now his course here, thinking, well, I had to do as a GFI. Especially with that riot, there's no option of just standing next to the ball and then riot about it next time. Makes his GFI, makes his pickup. <laughs> yeah, that's right, G6. <laughs> Extra 30 pounds. Oh, here we go, that's one turn gone. PC to Dwarf main here, obviously with, uh, maybe not necessarily obviously, but you know, got the advantage. Jim can hold on to that if he loses here. I think the builds, they look the same. They are the same, on account that they look the same. Pretty much are the same thing. Oh, well PC's mighty bang pop. Here we go. Uh, 
It does not. So both coaches with 12 dwarves on the field to handle. Easy enjoyment level up plus for a bit. PC playing fast here, which is good. Like I said earlier on, you know, um, I'm really expecting to see Jim drop a bit of chat game here. The moment his mighty blank pops, even if it's just a stun. Stun or above, armor break or above, drop the easy in chat. Has to be done. Has to be done. I'm just going out these blocks. First moves first, gets the ball up. Keeps his screen intact. We might change that later. I'm a nine holding firm still. Another pal. Oh! There's a stun. Gotta be thinking about dropping the easy here. Let's see what the mighty blow does, I think. PC's guard obviously heavily just slightly left of centre. Doesn't really matter at this point. Interesting in that Jim can't provide an assist without guaranteeing at least one non-blitz hit back. Because you want to see a bit of mighty blow on mighty blow. Oh no, here we go. No, he has got this hit here. Where he doesn't give PC a hit in return. PC's chat game, I believe, is incredibly weak. Mighty push. Not getting it done there. Jim checking movement there, making sure that the dwarves, famed for their lack of movement, can't reach the ball. So we can get some more players into the fight. Troll Slayer has moved up. Oh, giving him a hit. Yeah, move one guard in there. Diagonal step down. One punch. Then mighty blow to the mighty blow. It's the play, yeah. PC definitely listening to the cast here. Follows and commits the other one to basing. No. Jim hasn't left a mighty blow hit on the... I mean, he could have mighty blowed the troll slayer if he had handled that bit different. No, he couldn't have actually. Never mind, never mind. Mighty blow not getting it done there. The question is, do we end a half with all 11 Dwarves for both teams on the pitch? Oh. A bit of a commitment here from PC. Being a Dwarf specialist though, Dwarf main. He'll know what he's doing. We're full of his guard on the left hand side, no gym central. That is not guard, this is going to be a one day. Nope, not going to take the hit with that guy. Jim opting to push up the left hand side here into the uh, warm, welcoming arms of PC's guard. That being said, the riot means he needs to press on probably earlier than he'd like to.
Ça cherche clairement le corps à corps. C'est toujours risqué. Oh, bit of excitement here. Double GFI. Public reroll committed. There we go. No needed. No need. Oh, he's considering it. Yeah. Get you, get your power for your troubles. Here we go. Drop the easy now, Jim. Power Apo. This is it. Jim's mighty blow free to pop off now. Actually turned into quite a nice turn for Jim, all things considered. Yep, me too, Famer. Me too. So, one of Dreamy's dwarves doing a fucking mighty effort there of holding up four. Well, yeah, four of uh, PCs. Left hand flank looking suitably girthed. But we shall see how this turn pans out. Thirty seconds are gone. PC having a think here. He's uh, been quick so far on his turns. You'd think with upward of seven to eight thousand dwarf games under your belt, there is no thinking. It's just all the pilot from from here on out. You've seen it all before. I'm sure Jimmy would take a day back, cocky, but he's uh, indisposed at the moment, playing a bit of blood bowl. You can read top right of your chest there, purple chest he's against. Good day, Cocker. Hope you're having a nice day. We have an exhilarating dwarf versus dwarf matchup here. Exhilarating in a sense that any one of us could pass away from a heart attack due to the excitement of anything but this game. Running out of time here. Will he get his dwarves moved over? Probably not. Get fucked. Got to click faster than that, PC. So Jim's single dwarf holding up four as expected. Ah, just fucking banged my knee. Excitement for me there. Obviously baited by the dwarf game into trying to put my legs up on the desk and to sit back and watch the time pass. I in fact, cracked my knee right in the corner of the desk. Not the corner, but the edge. Never good. Yeah, it was, but I've now got my leg up on the desk. I am reclined. The microphone is out of its holster. Yep, I yeah, got the double rammy there. I feel myself getting older. And I've also broken my knee. Oh. So I'm using a laptop and my desk is basically a dining room table. What I've done here is I'm leaning back in the chair, full lean back, both legs on the desk. My feet are past the laptop screen, holding the mic in my hand. It is, it is lemon, it is. My, my, my commentary microphone well and truly out of its holster, but my other microphone well and truly in its holster. Unless we see a bit of chat game. That would get my voice flying. Jimmy managing to find the 2D into 2D there. Not getting rewarded. Four turns here. Quite a lot of ground to cover for Jimmy's little runner dwarf. Jimmy also falling victim to the turn counter. Right, possibly actually. He wanted to reinvest more because as I see it, it's just a nice. Mighty bang for him. And you push them back and you can now move those other dwarves over. 
Jim didn't seem to be moving his mouse with any sort of excitement there, so maybe he's perfectly fine with how this turn has ended. But I feel as though there was a little, little left none down. Yet the Slayer is going to get drilled. And there it is. The equity firmly in favour of the audience here. Odette Rojoy. Um, we saw a riot. And we've got one minute turns. Sort of offsetting the negative equity that comes from watching Dwarves on Dwarves. PC thinking here. Gets a pal. Really, I think at this point, stifled pretty much all of Jim's offensive chances of getting any further forward. Obviously, I'm not a dwarf main, you know. I, uh, you know, but this is looking pretty, pretty rough for getting forward with the limited movement. Um, Jim's got one return bang with the. It's got an instant 2B, 2D. Probably wants the mighty blow to mighty blow. But getting forward? Oh no, it's going to mighty blow to guard. Here we go. Here we go. This could work. Getting ready to drop the easy. No, armor doesn't break. I'm not seeing a, I'm not seeing a very strong way forward for Jimmy here. Perhaps this is why you wanted to do this move just before we got cut off from the time. The extra dwarf forward. Ooh, Dirty Dingo is going to try for the uh, I'll surf you next turn, maybe. Tie up the guards, they can't go anywhere. A little bit of no balls there in that. Didn't go for the push and bend the pound, but I suppose the return surf is a massive factor here. Wonder if PC can spot the abstract chain push to get a surf. So help me out here, chat. Is there anything that I need to be uh, I'm missing in terms of the commentary here? Is there some angle of play? Yes, he can. Here we go. It's just a stun. But crucial to Jimmy's efforts of getting forward. Are they, are they genuinely mirrors? Yeah, they're both. Yeah, the teams, the team builds are identical. Is a bit of an abort on the surface. Backed out of that. It's a power on the armor eight. So if you're Jimmy here, two turns left, do you abort this offensive drive and sort of run around, run back? It's a lot of squares to move. But of course, PC doesn't have a scoring threat, so you just push on regardless, don't you? I think if you're Dwarves, there is no... Okay, I'm going to turtle the ball because I don't want either of us to score. But what does it fucking matter, really, is Dwarves? Oh, he goes for the 1D. Dirty fucking dog. Just as well, that's not a, uh, not a pal. Oh... Human, fucking absolutely livid if that turned into a power and a removal. Jim himself might be going for the surf here, the guaranteed mighty blow. Just a bit of doing a bit of guard maths here. Am I out guarded? Looks like it. PC giving him no space on the wings, really. It's got the tiles next to the, uh, the sideline, of course. 
Yeah, he, it looks like he has deactivated the animations for the um, to sort of avoid the, the bug that happens. Cheeky one day. Into the pow. Of course, does he have? He's gonna have the GFI to get out of the return surf. I'm the crowd not getting it done for Jim. Forward two more squares, and I think that's a scoring threat, isn't it? But he can't go forward two more because he just gets clapped. Any sort of roll failure here could be crucial for Jimmy to multi surf. A distinct possibility, but it looks like he might be equalized. Uh, sorry, neutralizing that threat. Level one day. The Dwarven special. Just the push. Oh yeah, okay, maybe he does have the animations on. I don't know, I guess that's probably gonna be the most exciting thing, isn't it, so far? Does Jimmy have the items on? Makes his GFIs. 1D pow. Oh shadowing. Yeah, I mean shadowing combines very well with tackle. You'd have to do some maths. Fuck I had to re-roll that. that I had to re-roll that hit because I had I had to blitz the runner and get forward and I just didn't re-roll it and like as soon as I hadn't re-rolled it, I was like, why the fuck didn't I re-roll it? That was I was I yeah, needed at least the push there. It's fucked. It's fucked. fucked at it. least no one's scoring, right? There is that. You're not playing against a team that can capitalize on Oh my god, here's the KO. No power, so obviously PC's appo gone. Um, Jimmy Hopton's not power appo that. Which serves no purpose, really just blocks a tile, if, we, if all things considered. Animations are one. We've got a hard answer on that question, so that's nice. Fix skull doing a thing. Also, official confirmation coming into my ear there that uh, ear here that uh, how do you call it? Animations are off now. PT's frivolous reroll there, not. Well, he, he had a had a cheeky fucking surf though, didn't he? Cheeky double surf, I spot there. If he managed to get the troll slayer free, he runs in. Surf from the bottom right of the ball carrier. Pushes him into the guard. The guard gets fucking banged off the pitch. And then the ball carrier itself gets banged off the pitch. He's very upset for that. Didn't oh, I miscounted. I miscounted with the runner. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Get fucked. Get fucked on this. This is going to be an injury. Punish for your insolence. Oh. This gets injured. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. The crowd not getting it done though, so that's nice. <laughs> two removals. Was it one DB two removals? Was it? I have to check. Was that? Was that a one DB, guys? The pal? Anybody in the chat there can have a look? That was beautiful. Jim here settling for... Was it a single... Was it a 1DB block that resulted in the... Oh, there we go. Return fire. Jim returning fire here. Yeah, no, back to our conversation of, um, you have to re-roll that. Back to our conversation of Dwarf versus, um, Shadowing on Dwarf. You'd have to do the maths as to whether or not, well, no, Shadowing's free. You have to get doubles to get a uh, diving tackle, don't you? So there's no contest. Whoopsie! Faudrait voir à cogner plus fort la prochaine fois! 
<laughs> I forgot he had another turn. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. This is not great, is it? Hey, it's fine. It's actually completely fine. But you see time griefing the audience here. Not much to do. He's making it seem like there is. 25 seconds down. 35 to go. Opting to slap the mighty blow. Into the dub skulls. Into the pow. He did fame here. Excellent. Yep. Yeah, the more of you guys talking in there, the more it helps me out in this booth commentating on a dwarf mirror match. While reclined to the absolute maximum my setup allows. As mentioned, both legs up on the desk, full recline on the chair, microphone in hand. Trying to farm some SPP there. Or trying to be amusing. I don't find it amusing, that's an extra 10 seconds of my fucking life gone. For a completely useless move. In a resurrection style league. Yeah, I don't think there's overtime. Oh, or so a draw was a draw. So his uh, second half strategy will be stop the score. And we're going to see if PC, the dwarf specialist, has what it takes to best Jimmy Fantastic, the high elf main. Get you blitz here. Could be set up one further forward, but. Your rule of five will be fine. Prevents the uh, follow ups into tackle zones. Interesting that Jimmy's left his mighty blow out on the rings here. Will PC take that? No, no, no. Not just out on the side of the yellow rule of five. Interesting. As opposed to putting a normal dwarf there or a guard dwarf. I suppose the guard here allows him to be responsive. But Davo is top of this league. We obviously don't have the scoreboard on at the moment. Um, but Davo is leading the thing. The winner here would take a joint first place. In this half of the... In this half of the league. Group A, I think. Or Group B. I don't know. One of the groups. But yeah, the obvious thing here is playing for the playing for the draw. Okay, stun, not helpful for Jimmy, of course. Helpful for PC in a sense, but you'd you'd want to see more than one stun here for PC. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it, Otter? I wouldn't say Jimmy's out of his depth here, but PC, the Dwarf main, over 8,000, maybe probably closer to 10,000 games on Dwarves. Um, out of his depth, but PC definitely has the sort of the experience upper hand with Dwarves here. And he's pushing forward immediately. Of course, Jim sort of fucked by the riot taking the turn away from him and the supremely deep kick. As deep as it will go. Um, the back left square. And so that takes... That means three, three turns for Jimmy to get the ball up to the touchdown line, right? And um, PC has a massive advantage here in that the touchdown... The ball is at the LRS immediately. So it could be that this game is decided by the kickoff. But there's still time to play. Still time to play. Nothing's over yet. Jim, of course, able to pivot his dwarves to slow down on offense. If you're PC here, do you score fast and bank on dwarves being slow as fuck and unable to sort of capitalize on an early score? Flank is protected. Guard has been deployed. 
I expect to see the mighty blow moving into a more responsive position. And there we have it. Yes, you do go for the classic dwarf on dwarf shootout scoring match. Yep, just ring the bell. And just one one. No, I think Volkajo is running BBSL. How many people will drop out if Jim gives up, though? I don't think he'll give up. I don't think he can. It goes against what the Super League was all about, doesn't it? Although they gave up on the real life Super League immediately. It was a fun two days, wasn't it? Certainly left its impression on the Blood Bowl community. About the views. I'm not sure what you mean, Blood Brother Dave. But I think you're asking that because you're not sure what I meant. So there we are in a tango, a little entwined in a little dance of. What does he mean? What do I mean? What does it mean to be alive? Watching a dwarf mirror match. Keep punters watching, yeah. Keep the money. The Keep the money coming in. Yeah, he can, can't he, Tony? You know, he's... Jim's, Jim's uh, concession game fucking on point. Um, back to back to back to back me, seasons opinion, is given up after the, the third day. Hello, Gorm. Help me, in my opinion, one of the best commentators to have ever existed. Wait, I've ever heard him? I don't remember. Yeah, interesting fast and agile dwarf. Blood Liana. Bloody Anna. You catch like a margoose, though. If you see fainting the pivot off to the right. Jim getting some fucking bangs here. Love to see it. Always the thing with guard, you need to have guard in as a lattice, sort of working together, because otherwise your guarder just gets hit. Here we go, mighty bang on the guard. Yeah, lots of powers but no rewards, but the reward is that the movement is slow as fuck. PC can stand them up at best. Help There's me. no real forward movement opinion, to be had here. So that's a that's a big that win. I've ever heard Yelp, Yelp, SFX. I appreciate that, Gorm. Much love to my fans. To the dirty dabbers of the Blood Bowl world. Speaking of which, I've not seen much action, but I did get two of my Blood Bowl, official Jimmy doing Blood Bowl things, bingo cards scratched off. I have not done that. Here we go. So you may have seen the PC bingo, the official PC in the booth bingo. There's one I made for Jimmy as well. Works more when he's casting replays or actually talking himself. So not on much usage here. Yes, it would have been a touch of iron if he'd gone for the withdrawn offense, but you can't really do it with dwarves, man. <laughs> How slow these fuckers are. I'm just talking about the speed of the players, the speed of the coach. Two bingos there. BT obviously not in the thing, but Andy, if you're interested, if you're interested, fellow viewers, in, in what we crossed off from the Jimmy doing Blood Bowl things bingo, we got the we got the fuck you help, and we got the shush as a fellow caster. I tried to do. You know, my own fault, the hubris, the, the arrogance it took for me to try and do the YouTube intro. He was not happy with that. Hey. Considering we've got the reroll, this both teams look like they got an extra reroll with the kick of event. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh. Duly noted, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think it'd been an interesting, wouldn't it? Just a nice little break. Little, uh, little sort of... Hello, YouTube. Welcome to game number four. Or game number five. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to game number five of Jimmy Fantastic's Adventures in the Blood Bowl Super League. We are against Purple Chest's Dwarven team. It's a Dwarf on Dwarf mirror match. My name is Alpmeme. You may recognize me from other videos where I've done commentary for Jim. But here we are. Here's the game. Help me, in my humble opinion, one of the best commentators that I've ever heard in my life. Hello, Kilmatronics. Hope I'm not talking over calcium. Can't hear him when he's talking, you know. Oh, there we go. The anus Atra is fucking penetrated. He is down. Jimmy hunting here for a 2DB. Finds it. Good evening, little wrestlers. Jimmy what can I do on for you? the offense here now. Despite being on the defense, we have some action. Jim's fourth game, but the fifth week. Oh, he got the bye week, didn't he? Okay, try and listen to 100 and rush. You've done more for my opinion of the Welsh people than they've ever done for themselves with that aardvark. That's fantastic. Sadly, I can't say the Welsh word for 100 due to YouTube censorship. But if I learn a Welsh sentence, I'm sure I could say it and it would be just fine. So what you want is out of one, out of 100... I give him one hundred. Okay, so if I translate, I give him one hundred out of a hundred into Welsh. How do I um? How do I make a link for this? Translate this in your little thing, Ardvark. Translate that. Tous ces joueurs qui se tournent les fesses. Ah, si ça continue, le syndicat va les blacklister. Good, isn't it? New South Wales Australian. Australian lads checking in the house. I'm not wrong on that, am I? It is correct, isn't it? New South Wales. Province in Australia? Are they provinces? They're not counties, are they? You do have counties on a smaller level. But your states are called provinces, right? Oh, they are states. My apologies to any Australians. PC uh, Jim not baited in there to take the block on his block this guy. Oh, I was actually looking at the wrong screen there, commentating. It does, doesn't it, actually? Jim's turn here. He's not going to spend too long thinking. Just when things tend to go wrong. But yeah, Jim missing some players? Oh, so there are, there are two territories. Okay. Chain the Slayer into the ball carrier. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. Chain the Slayer into the ball carrier. Maybe. Maybe he will. Just making sure he heard that. Not coaching, by the way. I'm not sure it's not allowed in Blood Bowl Super League. I'm sure it's all fine. Jim would have spotted it anyway, I'm sure, but... 
chain the Slayer into the ball carrier. Is that an option? Views expressed in this Maybe stream not with that are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> <laughs> so it is an option. Surprise GFIs, right? Nope, not an option. Yeah, chain with who? An interesting, yeah, interesting question. I don't know. I just thought chat very rarely leads me astray. So I'll just repeat what chat said. Hopefully Jim notices it. Pulls his move off. Oh, snap reroll there from Jim. Three plus dodge paying off. Dodgy Garda. Ah, power into a stun. And up, um, a skull into a stun. No good for Jim now. Okay, here we go, here we go. Another one from Ardvark. You are taken away from my commentary ability here. <laughs> Is that the Welsh Diglett? <laughs> That's incredible. How has how has Artemis never told us what a hundred sounds like in Welsh? How has he never done that? Why have we why have we only now been exposed to this through the medium of Aardvark? Or maybe it happens and no, I just never knew about it. <laughs> I think it's total 100. <laughs> that's, that's very true. Oh dear. <laughs> that's great. For those not aware, Aardvark is showing us the glory of Google Translate, translating 100 in Welsh as being the YouTube band word. Be clear. They don't really have a number that goes big number, big 1000. Oh, I need to get back to the Discord stream here. No forward progress. Three turns to do it in. Forward progress here. As a result of the chain push. That's fantastic. How did you learn all of this artwork? Were you just messing around with Google Translate? So I think Jimmy has the ability here to chain push at least one of his guys free. PC running a ball backwards. Now, is there a shot on the ball? If you get that guard up follow, you have the mighty bang to hit a guarder on a 1D, then you've got a shot at the ball. Or you push him out of the way and to remove your shot at the ball. Okay, chain pushes here, chain pushes galore. Push him. Yeah. I strongly feel as though there was a healthy shot on the ball. That has not been utilized. Yep, does look like a Triago. Triago, not to be confused, of course, with Trivago, who do not sponsor the stream. Hello, Skuro Mezzo, the winner three, the winner five. You called Jimmy a horse one. Let's have a look at this one. Careful. <laughs> Careful. That's fucking incredible. Careful. <laughs> so, when you hear that on a night out in Wales, it doesn't mean what you're used to it meaning. You know, they're not warning you to, to calm down. It means horse 100. Oh, that is intense. Yeah. Does he knock on your door before he starts unloading or does he unload it all on the doorstep and then give you the old knock? 
I think it's about 50. I mean, we use Sainsbury's, but it's 50-50 here as to rev on. Actually, probably no, more 75% for that. I'll stack it all up on the doorstep and then give us the knock. Sometimes they knock before they've even got the first box out of the van, out of the van don't they? He waits for it. What, what an arse. But he does take you away from this fucking dwarf mirror match, which isn't a bad thing. So I could be wrong, but I feel as though Jim had a shot on the ball. Um, but he didn't take or wasn't able to take. Oh, yeah, you better knock. Yeah, I uh, hear Got 100 viewers here. Gonna be uh, saying that the 100 viewers are on the back of Jimmy's name. Not my commentary. Obviously, my, my stream. We peak at about four viewers. At, uh, at the best, best of times. Ball is committed here. Will we see a handoff? Help me, in my humble opinion, one of the best commentators that I've ever heard in my Super life. Super League. Hello, Sai Talim. Sorry for talking over you again, Calcium, I'm sure. Help me, in my opinion, one of the best commentators ever. Here we go. We have commitment of the ball. We've got two turns to cover. What appears to me to be 11 squares. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It could be less than 11. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head. Because I'm clearly not qualified to be commentating this game. But Jimmy was hard pressed for options. And there I was. Sweet sound of relief. Do you wonder? Or do you not? Not going for the ball, sir. Oh, I was taking a shit. And I uh, opted to do Jimmy a solid and provide commentary for his match. Against Purple Chest. Here we go. Full commitment to the ball. Stand him up, dodge him out to reinforce even further. No, just take your 2 DB. It was better than the dodge out. This could... I... I... PC could get away here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, no, you know. No, I'm, you know, I'm doing a bad... Like, the viewership has been building, actually, to be fair. Um, mostly on account of Jim not... You know, if Jim streams, I'm fucked. You know what I'm saying? But... The rest of the Blood Bowl world, I provide a bit of something else. You know, I'm my own person. Um, but sadly, a lot of the people who would like to, to watch me would rather watch Jim, which is understandable. Yeah, this is me as me, Elp Meme. I've got twitch.tv slash Elp Meme if you want to drop me a follow and drop in sometime. I don't think you can do it, Aardvark, given the, the YouTube thing, because... I mean, you know, we could say we're talking Welsh, but we're not, you know? That's why I don't want to say it. So I did hear Jimmy Broadbent drop the C-nut. And he's a full, fully-fledged YouTuber. Yeah, it might be worth. I'll even, I'll even drop a link in here. I'm Jim, sure Jim's not going to mind. It's HTTPS colon double slash Twitch. TV slash help me. Obviously, I'm not live at the moment. But there I am, that's me. I do blood ball things sometimes. Also says I do eye racing, a set of course, and dirt rally. Sometimes. I got a follow up. Thank you for the follow, whoever that was. I don't know who it was. Yeah, not too hard to 1D here. You would hate to fucking lose like this, like this fucking glacier paced match. Yeah, if I 
Oh no, he's fucking gone and done it, isn't he? Yes, mate, the journey to get ripped. I'm quite excited about that. I just hate how expensive weights are and how fucking difficult they are to source. It's a it's a pain in the ass, completely honestly. I'm not sure that's the place because now he just drills the guard in then he has the free surf to clear the ball okay here we go we're doing big dick dodges that was the first one well that's over that was fucking hard wasn't it the fucking kick the, the kick just yeah, the killed kick, my yeah, offense that was the, and the right jesus yep. christ so i just had yep. to commit early to a side well i felt i had to commit early to a side to to like you know obviously pc essentially potato in the you end, get the here. but um, I didn't know which side to cover. Oh, wow, okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. A three plus to fail, and no GFIs, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should have covered this side more, but I thought he could go either side a little bit. But I guess I should have just covered this side more. I guess I made a mistake. It's hard in a minute, isn't it? Against PC, well, he fucking drained the entire time, didn't he? And unfortunately, weren't able to capitalize. There was that one turn actually. Where it looked like you wanted to go up a little bit more, but you didn't, and I think that sort of stifled your offense. Yeah, yeah, I missed. I'm, it was only a couple of squares, but yeah, I did miss moving a couple of a couple of players at the end. But it was it was hard. Like it's PC, right? He's not going to do anything wrong, is he? Yeah, he's a fucking dwarf main with about ten, eleven thousand games. I'm getting it from chat that he's done about twelve thousand games of dwarfs. <laughs> I don't know how many games of dwarfs he's done, but uh... yeah, we're going to have twelve thousand. Oh, and also Aardvark found out the amazing. Do you know what 100 is in Welsh? Yeah, we were talking about it yesterday. Oh, fuck. Why didn't you tell me Aardvark? I thought this was a new thing. I guess right, so it's right. I've got to play for a right. All right, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you carry on playing. I'll have words of Aardvark. You take your fucking dirty bastard, Aardvark. Okay, yeah, did you find the horse 100 today, or did you find it yesterday? This is just yesterday's news. The most exciting thing about this dwarf mirror has been yesterday's news. That says a lot. Okay. Fucking did me dirty on that one, though. Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by the result. Um... <laughs> But, uh, oh, we, I mean, pulled, was... we pulled 110 viewers, buddy. That's fucking good. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad, um, is it? Yeah. It was always going to be tough, but I mean, really, the kick, the kick, and the kickoff event hurt me a lot more than it hurt him. Um, yeah, that was fucked. That was yeah. That that's what did it really. Because it's three turns for you to get up there, and you've minus one turn already. It's four turns to get down. Yeah, yeah. It was. Although it was... PC managed to do it in two, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was brutal. That was really brutal to, get, to just to get the halfway line was such a slog. Um, but then obviously got quite good dice on defense really, like really gummed him up and then, you know, it's hard in a minute, right? Maybe there was a shot at the ball, uh, you know, there was definitely 1Ds on the ball at various points, but I didn't want to take 1Ds on the ball. Um, maybe there were, there were chances with like chains and stuff that, again, it's hard in a minute to see those kind of things. Like, you know, you can't really analyze everything because then you can run out of time, so you've just got to think, fuck it, I'll go for the kind of safer play. And there was the turn when I went drop back and like... It didn't really. I should have picked. I should have shut down one of the sides, maybe. But it was annoying. Oh, it was going to take. It was no, going to take like both players to cover it. I guess I could have just stuck the guard on. Defend. And that might have been enough. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? Um, um, it's a match, mate. Is what it is. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's what it, you know. Like, it is what it is. I did all right. <laughs> and I mean, you're playing against the man that's done about fourteen thousand games on dwarf, so. It's sort of. I mean, you've been against the man that's done about games on Dwarf. Yeah, so. oh, goodness. Sorry for the echo there. Yeah, um, who was that? I've got to see. I've got to see him stay fantastic there. That's PC oh, well, you've got a glorious PC. Thank you for staying fantastic for six glorious months. Be back in a couple of minutes. One a pleasure. Just going for your, a piss. I might do some streaming you. myself if you're calling it here, but, you know. Um, yeah. Right, bye, help. <laughs> Hello, PC. Your you're worth it, Jimmy. Hello. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that was uh, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. Uh, it the, was, wasn't it? The kick was brutal for me. That really. Yes, it was. Yeah. I mean, the minute 
the minute you lost a turn and the kick was that deep, I thought, right, all I need to do here is, is delay him, stop him getting over the halfway line, fight for every inch, and there's a good chance I can stop him scoring. Yeah. Which puts me in a good position the second half. So that's what we that's what the game plan was and it works reasonably well. Yeah. And then I've got I had some... to throw the Apo in early to make sure that I wasn't getting down on numbers, but while you recovered the ball, obviously I was up on numbers on the line of scrimmage, so yeah. managed to leverage that okay. And luckily I'd chosen not to put the second runner on, which helps with that plan as well. Yeah. Just lots of strength and lots of thick skull. Yeah. It was a... Yeah, it was so like that. And then I thought I had quite good dice on defence, right? I nearly stopped you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a couple of turns I was in real trouble just before the break. Yeah. Could have gone two turns earlier, but the, the dice that turn were just awful. There was yeah. some. I mean, you, you'd gummed it up nicely, and if I'd got reasonable dice, I could have got away that turn. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I, I think I did get slightly the better dice, Jim. It's, you know, there's no shame in that. We've got very similar builds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Therefore, you've got it's. Off. And you've got over 21,000 games with dwarves. Well, you taught me up as a dwarf coach the whole time, and of course I'm, I'm not going to deny that. I love, love me some dwarf play. But you're no stranger to the dwarves yourself. No, I've said so. So there's a, there's a little bit of disingenuity there. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, I think you're a very, very fine dwarf coach. Thanks. So yeah, it was a very, very tough game. and I, I got the slightly better dice, I think, and that's probably what told. I don't think there was anything special I did. It was it was nip and tuck, wasn't it? He got yeah, the worst. And against Mr. Dice. Page, I'll accept that I, um, you know, I had uh, an experience advantage. Um, but yeah, about twenty four thousand games of dwarves will do that. <laughs> uh, in total, across both on, on Thumble, I've played about fourteen hundred, and here about four hundred. So yeah, yes, that's about twenty four thousand. A lot of dwarf games. Yeah. Yeah. Dwarf in actual games. maths, of course. <laughs> um, but you know, that's dwarfed by the number of games. Haha, see what I did there? That I've played with other races. <laughs> I'm not going to claim I'm very good with dwarves, but not uh, very experienced with dwarves. I don't claim to be any good, but I'm very experienced with them. There you go. <laughs> Over 26,000 more games than this. <laughs> <laughs> I think in total I've got over 7,000 games in total played now, but that is across 19 years. There you go. Well, you yeah. Know, that's a long old time. It is a long old time, and it was like you 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 weren't gonna you weren't gonna do some horrible mistake like not moving your runner into scoring range because you thought because <laughs> you miscounted like I did. Well, I did. Oh. I, I ran out of time. I mean, I was sort of mentally counting. I think I ran out of time on three, if not four turns. Uh, each of time I would have moved someone I didn't move. Yeah, there was there was so a big one that. where there were four there were four dwarves stuck on one, which. I yeah. sadly couldn't convert to an advantage. Um, no, that was the big turn that I thought, oh god, yeah, if Jimmy manages to get good dice here, I, I, he's probably scored. Yeah. Um, because two of those should have been coming back into more exciting positions. Yeah. And but I got away with it. I was very lucky. Uh, I felt in the first half you did get I mean, fairly even dice, but I got the better ones on the turns where it really mattered. Yeah, I, I should have re-rolled. I, I, I did a blitz that I should have, or a block that I should have re-rolled, and then like I instinctively didn't re-roll it, and I thought, oh, "You dickhead! <laughs> I should totally should have re-rolled that one." Um, you know, like to, yeah, the thing is, we both had we both had four, didn't we? So we had plenty in the first half because we both seemed to win one on the kickoff. Yeah, yeah, it was brutal. It was brutal. So yeah, the top of division, the top of division B is uh, is wide open. We can look at the the table in the game, can't we? Um, briefly. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit wrong, obviously, because uh, PC and I have both got uh, buys, and the game hasn't turned up. So, so PC is on three. Is actually on three wins now, uh, and Andy yeah. Dave was on three wins and a loss, and I'm on two wins and a loss. Um, so I'm not on three wins at all. So yeah. So and Calcium's on two wins and a loss. Uh, so oh, yeah, dude, that means it's tight. Just quietly, that means my my goal is achieved. It's the same goal I set for every tabletop tournament, which has come away with at least a fifty percent record. Oh, I just wanted to win one game, to be honest. I was like, yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. That's it's it's not the only goal. It's just one that's always there. Yeah, I, I just I just wanted to win one because I thought you know it's people will like you know people can definitely like not win a game in, in the Super League right there's a lot of good players yeah. no bad players but yeah absolutely so, and at that um, speed yeah so I, my goal was to just make sure I didn't go away with no wins <laughs> and then I've done that so I'm happy <laughs> I didn't know a couple of coaches that play naturally at that speed 
and um, you know, even those occasionally there's a turn they'd like to have a little bit longer. Yeah, for, for sure. Like there, there were times there in like the ma- mess of guard that it would have been lovely to have had three minutes to mm. think: is there a way yeah. I can change someone for a hit on the ball? Whereas instead, yeah, you've got a, you've got to glance at it and think: nope, okay, let's go with punching things. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's let's try and control the field and hit a few things. That'll, that'll probably be all right, and at least I won't embarrass myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I felt exactly the same. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, there you go. On that bombshell, thank you very much, Purple Chess, for the game and uh, joining pleasure. us afterwards. Thank you. Learned from me, but, uh, nice to get it done. Yeah, uh, well. I am streaming. A, I think it's a pony game I'm playing this evening, and I plan to do a little stream after that. We'll have to see. I've got my nephew here. Find him in the YouTube PC. He Glorious. Has to come first. <laughs> Yeah, and thank you very much, Elton, for doing the commentary, so I could I could concentrate on two dicing people with guard and mighty blow. <laughs> a pleasure as always. Thank you. Don't and forget to leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> yep. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>